The best known and most important source of light in our galaxy is the Sun. Sunlight is the total spectrum of electromagnetic radiation emitted by the Sun. It has an array of properties. Rainbows are the most familiar form of light refraction. All the fascinating hues and color effects we see in the world of plants and animals are the result of reflection and absorption of light. Polar bears are among the most popular animals with visitors to zoos all over the world. The polar bear's fur has some amazing properties and is a frequent topic of discussion among scientists. According to one theory, the individual hairs of the polar bear's coat act in the same way as optical fiber tubes, conducting light to the skin to keep the bear warm. One aspect of optical fibers is particularly interesting. It is the fact that light can be used to transport information. This film presents an introduction to the production processes involved in manufacturing high-quality fiber optic cables. A fiber spun from glass with a core that is thinner than a human hair. This highly sensitive material must be enclosed in multiple layers for optimum protection. In the manufacture of fiber optic cables, high-precision production processes must comply with a host of complex and exacting standards. Complete command of every production stage is necessary if products are to meet the highest quality standards. Klotz AIS employs process-safe, highly automated operations to ensure that Klotz cable products feature ultra-high precision and quality. Product quality is verified and documented using state-of-the-art testing and measurement technology. Join us now on a tour of the individual stages from optical fiber to finished product. First, the outer jacket of the optical fiber cable is removed. Aramid is an organic plastic with golden yellow fibers, which are difficult to cut cleanly using conventional methods. This machine draws in the fibers and cuts them using a stamp. The core, as the optical fiber cable is known without its jacket, is heated to enable the coatings of the fiber to be removed without damage. Now the optical fiber itself is visible. It has a diameter of 125 micrometers. Any remaining dirt particles are removed from the fibers in the cleaning process. Now the cable ferrule is attached to the fiber using epoxy adhesive dispensed by an automatic device. As soon as the epoxy has been introduced into the ferrule, the optical fibers are inserted. The bond is now heated in an automatic oven to achieve tension-free hardening. Now the fibers are scribed or scored to produce a notch. This enables them to be cleaved cleanly without causing rough edges known as hackle. The surfaces of the ferrules must now be polished. First, the cable connectors are fixed to the high-precision holding disc of the polishing machine. High-precision automated polishing machinery is necessary to produce the optimum surface quality of the ferrules. A series of different polishing films are used at different pressures and durations to polish the ferrules. This is the most complex stage in the manufacturing process of high-quality fiber optic cables. Depending on the type of connector used, a number of different polishing stages may be necessary.
The ferrule end faces must be finished to highly precise standards to ensure their smooth contact in the connector, guarantee optimum and consistent signal transmission. A series of optical measurements is conducted, including a two-dimensional surface analysis using a video microscope with magnification of up to 400 times. An analysis of zone C to A is performed with error tolerance progressively reduced towards the fiber core. The automatic fault identification sensor pinpoints any tiny scratches grinding marks, traces of epoxy or impurities. Here we see a specimen which failed the surface inspection. Only products with optimum surface quality are passed and go on the next inspection stage. Here, professional three-dimensional reconstructions of the geometry of the cable end are produced for inspection using an interferometer. This device is used to measure the curvature of the ferrule, any imperfections in the mating of the fibers inside the connector and the centering of the fiber. All parameters are inspected according to international standards and an automatic pass-fail result is delivered for the test piece. The measurement results are used to monitor the precision of all production processes and confirm their compliance with the most stringent international standards. After the connector surfaces are inspected, the optical attenuation of the finished cable is measured in line with IEC standards. This measurement result is a key factor in loss budget analysis when the total configuration of a system is calculated. Attenuation values are automatically recorded for all fiber optic cables and are delivered with the product as a measurement report. Thanks a lot for your attention. Our sales team is looking forward to provide you with further informations.